You know, we talk about hockey nicknames, and most of them really apply, and this guy uh, really deserved his nickname. Fast as a whip, smart as a whip, and like a whip, he would really uh, strike quickly with a goal or assist in a key situation. Of course, we have to be talking about the great Wilmot Charles the Whip Marshall, better known as Willie Marshall, a great, great representative of the hockey hotbed of Kirkland Lake, Ontario. Now, 5'10", 165 center, uh, played in the NHL with Toronto Maple Leafs, but had most of his durable career with uh, teams in the AHL. Now, Marshall holds the all-time record for goals, points, assists, hat-tricks, and games played in the AHL, which was registered over a 20-season career in association. Now, his records are unlikely to be ever to be surpassed, as the AHL later put rules in place to reinforce his role as a development league, severely limiting the presence of longtime veterans. So, take it as you will. Now, Marshall also played with the Maple Leafs over the course of four seasons. Now, the Willie Marshall Award, which is awarded to AHL's leading goal scorer, is named after him. Now, in his later years, he became an avid author who has published numerous volumes of Christian poetry and several non-fiction books on Christian history, theology, and uh, doctrine. Now, he is uh, working on his autobiography, and he currently resides in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Now, he first came to major prominence with the Charlottetown Islanders of the MMHL with 94 points in 84 games in 1952, but found himself with the Pittsburgh Hornets of the AHL, a Toronto affiliate, with 66 points in 62 games in 53. Now, he played the full 54 season in Pittsburgh after two games with Toronto in 53, put up 28 goals, 55, 23 goals in Pittsburgh, and five points in 16 games with Toronto that year. 56, 97 points in 58 games with Pittsburgh, six games with the Leafs with no points in 56. 57 and 58 and uh, 59, he found himself with Hershey in Rochester, 35, 40 in 29 games, but 59 was called back up Toronto with one assist in uh, nine games. Now, uh, between 1960 and 1971, he again put up some really nice numbers in the AHL, mostly with Hershey, Providence, and Baltimore. In consecutive years, he had 38, 25, 30, 36, 33, uh, 12, 13, 33, 24, 26, 9, and uh, 15 goals. Now, 72, he found himself with split time with Toronto uh, Toledo Hornets of the IHL, where he had 15 goals, and the Rochester Americans, Americans where he had his last uh, totals with 4 points in 10 games. And, of course, one final game in the major minor pros with the Buffalo Norsemen of the NHL in 76. Now, again, final NHL totals, 6 points in 33 games, including 1 goal. AHL uh, totals, uh, 1,205 games, 1,375 points, 523, 852. And in the playoffs, dynamite numbers, point of game pace, 119 points in 111 games, including 48 goals. So uh, the whip uh, records will obviously never be broken unless there's some rule changes. But uh, when he started as well uh, in the St. Mike's Majors program, uh, a lot of people felt that he was destined for the Maple Leafs, and they were right. But the fact was, for some reason, the Maple Leafs didn't see an NHL pro him, and he, he moved from AHL to AHL, AHL seasons upon season upon season, putting up the regular numbers. But uh, Montreal never took a chance on him, the Rangers. I would, uh, I would have given him a shot because, ladies and gentlemen, you know, as consistent as he was, he was not only consistent, he wasn't scared to take a penalty every once in a while. Ended up with 1,375 minutes in penalties. And that's that's pretty impressive because you look at his stats, you know, he uh, you know he wasn't scared to, uh, to, be, uh, to be aggressive every once in a while. It is, uh, it is what it was. Uh, excuse me, 520 minutes in penalties. My apologies. But he wasn't scared to be aggressive every once in a while because, you know, protecting the crease and all that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. Don't forget we're... Uh, we're we're doing a series on minor pros here. We're going to be uh, talking about different people in AHL history, including Jody Gage, Mike Nicoluk, 
Tim to Tim Tookie, a few others. If you like what we're doing, suggest some AHL uh, uh, hometown heroes we haven't covered, and we'll uh, take care of it for you. Have a good day. Bye.